Trib Live High School Sports Network is the official video and audio streaming partner of the WPIAL. We broadcast over 2,000 sporting events each year and cover 17 sports in over 170 schools. At HSSN, you'll find the latest in high school sports news, live and archive broadcasts, scores, standings, and much more. Trib Live High School Sports Network, your high school sports leader. All season, every season. This is the Lawrence County Sportsnet, powered by LCAT. Go, heading back to Lawrence County. Your home Denver. for the County Stop of Champions. Has a throw to first, and that's your ball game. Union has won its first ever WPIAL championship. There it is. Champions, the Static Lancers. Strike three. The Union Scotty, golden once again. One gold, not enough. How about two district gold and two state gold for the Lady Lancers? The top local athletes and the top sports moments all featured here, live or archived, at lcsportsnet.com. Nine seconds. Anderson into the corner, it's forced for three, good, he turns the game. Let's throw again, directing traffic, going for the quarterback in the end zone, touchdown. Featuring over 100 broadcasts of county events in over a dozen sports. Your voice for Lawrence County sports. The gold ball headed home to Newcastle. This is the Lawrence County Sports Net. Live from the Shanick High School, it's high school football in the Lawrence County Sports Net, powered by LCAP tonight, and the Shanick Lancers host the Beaver Falls Tigers. Tonight's broadcast in the Lawrence County Sports Net and the Trib Live High School Sports Network is brought to you by Maley Chiropractic. They're keeping you in the game. Luxembourg, Garbett, Kelly, and George keeping promises for over 80 years. The Red Zone, scoring big at the Red Zone. Our Cunningham Funeral Home, let our family help your family. Medora Bonner Law, a community firm dedicated to protecting your possessions. The Pontius Insurance, love the life you live, worry free. The Green Room Grill, family owned restaurant, brewery, and banquet center. Tonight's broadcast also being brought to you by the Penn Ohio Bottled Water, home and business bottled water delivery. Joseph's Marketplace, there's Newcastle's family owned since 1915. Dorn Concrete, residential and commercial concrete contractors. Michael Kirkwood Jr. and Kate. Castle Realty, people you know, people you trust. The DNR Lawn Care, have your lawn done right. Lawrence County Child and Youth Services, the Tri County Principals Association, something for your wall photographer. They captured that perfect moment. And by the Lawrence County Community Action Partnership. Good evening, everybody. My name is Lee Moan, along with my brother Jay Moan, here tonight for a, a beautiful night here in Western Pennsylvania for. High school football, that's LGKG pregame show. Your insurance company is not always on your side, but the law offices of Luxembourg, Garbett, Kelly, and George are. Visit them online at lgkg.com for free consultation. Jay, we got the Shannock and Beaver Falls. The Shannock coming in 4 0. Beaver Falls at 3 1. Should be a fun matchup. I'm really looking forward to seeing this game. You have Beaver Falls speed against. Nishanik's defense. We'll see what happens. And it's just a court. You couldn't ask for better weather here tonight. A little bit crisp, but. Oh, come on. It's high school football. That's better that way. That's <laughs> what I'm getting at. I mean, you, a lot of times you get these hot summer nights, you get a bunch of cramps. I don't think I have to worry about cramps tonight. Uh, we are. So we don't have to. We'll, we'll still talk about the Penn Ohio Bottled Water Company tonight <laughs> since they're one of our sponsors, but they won't be sponsored cramps like you said. We won't have the cramps. We're going to take a quick two minute break and we'll be back and we'll break down this game a little bit. We'll be talking about the Beaver Hall. Beaver Falls Tigers when we come back. You're listening and watching the high school football here on lcsportsnet.com. Powered by LCAP and the Trib Live High School Sports Network. When it comes to protecting those you love, the businesses you've built, or the things you've earned, you need someone you can trust. Who better to protect your interests than a local insurance agent? Pontius Insurance is a team of local agents helping local residents in Lawrence County and surrounding areas, specializing in auto, home, business, and life insurance. Come see Dan Pontius, Jessica Wyland, Tracy Giddings, and the rest of the team at Pontius Insurance and receive the personalized service you deserve. Whether you're hosting a big party 
It's family dinner night, or you just need a place to go and watch the big game. The Crane Room Grill is the place to be. Need that something special for your upcoming event? Ask about the CR Brewing Company's custom brewing options to give your big day that personalized touch that your guests will never forget. Visit craneroom.com to see their full menu, or call in your takeout order now at 724-656-1553. The Crane Room Grill and CR Brewing Company, a winning combination. For 20 years, Mele Chiropractic has treated athletes of all ages to help them get safely back to the top of their game. Mele Chiropractic has three full-time doctors in their office, and all three are former area athletes who have had to battle injuries throughout their careers. They want to help you get safely back on your feet. But more importantly, help stop the injuries before they happen. Prehab before you rehab. Attention all high school student athletes. During your sports season, a $25 visit to the Mainly Chiropractic office includes an adjustment and or all therapies necessary. From the athletes of tomorrow to the weekend warriors and everything in between. Let Mainly Chiropractic keep you in the game. For more than 120 years, people have been relying upon Martindale Hubble's AV preeminent rating to select their attorneys. If you're involved in a workers' compensation situation, you should do the same. LGKG has been AV rated for over 40 years. And welcome back to the Shannock High School. Limo and J-Mo bringing you tonight's action between the Shannock and Beaver Falls. We mentioned the Shannock coming in at 4 and OJ, not getting any respect. They're not ranked in the, in the, in the top five. Beaver Falls ranked number one. And the Shannock, 174 points scored. 116 given up. Beaver Falls, they scored 130, but they've only given up 32 points here tonight. Uh, so you already so, talked about offensive defense. Let's look, look a little bit about Beaver Falls right now. They have a, a great quarterback in Jaron Brickner getting some D1 looks. You had an opportunity to look at him a little bit uh, during warm-ups. He threw a pretty nice pass. We'll just see how he does in the game, though. It's the difference between practice and and games. Yeah, Jaron, he uh, led last he, he last year, he, he threw for 2,569 yards, 25 TDs, and 12 interceptions, and he is the all-time leading passer. Now, if you break that down, Jay, as we, we think about, let's see, who played at Beaver Falls? There was a famous, yeah, Joe Namath. Joe Namath actually played at Beaver Falls, and he is the leading passer by Joe. Of course, they didn't pass the ball a lot back then, but still, to be beating Joe Namath is pretty, pretty good. Yeah, Joe Namath, he uh, won the PA state title in 1960. And then in 1969, they won the Super Bowl, and he guaranteed that the New York Jets would beat the Colts. I wonder if he's guaranteeing a Beaver Falls victory here tonight. Uh, he might be. <laughs> well, Jaron's also a, a very talented baseball player, too. He's batted 342 in baseball this year so far. He's off to a rough start uh, passing the ball, 21 of 59, which is about 35, 36 percent, uh, 392 yards and a couple TDs. It threw six interceptions, though, over the year, but he has rushed for 269 yards. You're going to see a very uh, good uh, Two, two running backs, and Dre Hall and Deshaun Anderson, or excuse me, uh, Dre Hall and Isaiah Ashbacher also is going to be behind uh, in the um, in, in the running back of the field. So, again, speed, 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 and we bring up Todd Graham from Pitt there. So, But anyways, and they've got three of the four 4x100 four players here on Beaver Falls for the 4x400 four by four by four hundred. Uh, track championship. They're two-time defending champion. Demetrius Taylor, Trey Singleton, and Michael Blackshear, all starters out here tonight, Brief Fever Falls. So if you don't catch them, you're not going to catch them. You can have to stop before they get out in the, out in the open field. Once you get in the open field, it's all over. Nick Nardone, he's in his sixth year coaching at Beaver Falls. He's a 2007 Elwood City graduate. He is a linebacker and defensive back. They played at Lafayette. He's been an assistant uh, at Beaver Falls since 2013. Uh, coach stepped down after the 2016 season. They said, let's promote Nick. Nick's been here ever since. Got, a, got himself a championship in 2020. He's doing a fine job here at Beaver, Beaver Falls High School. They've won uh, five WPL championships in their career, 1928, 1960, 1984, 2016, and 2020. And we mentioned the 2016 state championship team. They're 
going to become the eighth school in PIWA history to get 700 wins. They're at 688 right now. McKeesport just made their 700th win last year. Let's take another break, and we'll come back and, and talk a little bit about the Nishanic Lancers. You're watching and listening to high school football here in the Lawrence County Sports Network, powered by LCAP and the Trib, Lay, Trib Live High School Sports Network. Has your child's early education slowed down or even paused due to the pandemic? This is crucial time you can't get back. LCAP can keep your little learner on track for success. We have options for working and non-working parents with in-person childcare and age-appropriate virtual learning to keep them busy and engaged. Parents, don't hit pause on early learning. Lawrence County Community Action Partnership can jumpstart their future. Learn more at LCAP.org. In need of a lawyer? Contact Medor Bonner Law, a boutique firm offering tailored legal services in over 120 years legal experience. County residents with strong family ties to the community, Jason Medor and Michael Bonner established Medor Bonner Law to provide clients with legal expertise and personal attention. Guided by their professional staff, you can feel confident your rights will be protected. Call attorneys Jason Medor or Michael Bonner or visit MedorBonnerLaw.com for more information. Hey, welcome back to the Shannock for tonight's match between the Shannock and Beaver Falls. The LGKG pregame show. Let their law firm of AV rated attorneys and super lawyers guide you through the legal process. Luxembourg Garbett, Kelly and George. They've been keeping promises for over 80 years. Jay, we've seen the Nishanik Lancers a couple times. They're at 4-0 overall. We saw them uh, against the the uh, Mohawk Warriors a, a couple times. And, and Laurel. And, and La I mean, Mohawk once and Laurel once. And got a pretty good quarterback in Mr. Johnny Huff. He has a lot more speed than I thought he had. <laughs> yeah, jo Johnny Huff right now, he's uh, run for uh, – Yo, oh, I just have just have my stats right here, and I just lost him. He's run for 700. And I just lost my stats, but anyways, about 725 yards is uh, and seven TDs as Braden Huff. And uh, good job. Um, we, we know Peyton Weaver. He got hurt. You know, we we know about that. But Matthew Ionelli's been doing a nice job stepping in as a running back, Jay. Yes, he has. And I, I remember we watched him earlier against Laurel. He had a tremendous game. And because of him, that's why they won that game in overtime, double overtime. Yeah. There we go. Now I got it. Johnny Huff, uh, 26 of 60 passing the ball this year. Um, two TDs and, and one interception. He's thrown for 262 yards, but he's averaging 10 yards a carry, 71 carries for 724 yards and uh, nine TDs so far. Matt Ionelli, he has seven TDs on the year running the ball also. Yeah, that's they, they have a very good running attack, and then Huff, he jumps in there and runs quite a bit too. And he does have a nice arm. I, I remember him in the Laurel game through some very nice passes. Yeah, Johnny Huff, he was hurt last year, but he's come back, and he's, he's had a nice uh, start to this year also. And the, the Shannon Lancers, they've been coached by Fred Mazzocco. It's his uh, 11th year, 81 and 31 overall. I'll make a 85 and 31 overall now. Last year they were 7 and 4. They lost in the WPL champion, Sarah Catholic in the first round. Boy, remember that game. Sierra oh, Catholic. yes, I do. Sierra Catholic was just amazing. They've reached the playoffs eight out of ten years. And uh, when, when Coach uh, Mazzocco took this job, people told him, you don't want to go to Nishanik. That's a dorm. You know, it's a, it, you're never going to win there. It's not going to happen. But he took it as a challenge, and he's done quite well. They were 40-6 and six, uh, home record so far here in the Shannock. They're the WPL runner-up in 2016, and they lost that very talented, undefeated Steel Valley team um, with uh, Paris Ford um, on it. That was the team that Steel Valley won won the Whippeal, they won the States, and they, and they mercy ruled every opponent the whole way down the road, even, even in the state championship game also. And now we're gonna pause now for tonight's national anthem.
now for the Nishanik Alma Mater. And yes, that's tradition here on LawrenceCountySportsNet.com and the honor of Mr. Mark Schoss, the late Mark Schoss, the great Mark, late Mark Schoss, who would love to be here. Uh, I always share this story, Jay, you know, when, when we're doing games on radio only and we'd be here and we'd be doing on the radio with him, he'd say, Lee, bring it back, bring it back, because he'd be standing tall, proud, and straight as can be with that Nishanik all of water. He was such a proud proud alum here from the Nishanik Lancers. I got, to, I got to know Mark through you and I said he was a unique individual, best way to put it. Uh, that's a very good way to put it anyways and and you had to duck some on Friday nights because you never know what pencil, pen, headset might come flying at you. You don't, you don't know that. So I remember the one night we were doing a broadcast and I don't know what he got mad at, you or somebody, he just took his headset, laid it and he left. <laughs> And he, he did come back afterwards. Yeah, he went and got Dive Pepsi and come back. Yeah, and then, then the, and act like nothing ever happened. Yeah. <laughs> Time for our starting lineups by Michael Kirkwood Jr. and Gas Realty. Call Realtor Michael Kirkwood Jr. 724-301-1482 for, for your residential or commercial properties. On the uh, offensive side of the ball for the Beaver Falls Tigers. Jay, I, I did not write him down, so I, I'm going to give him to you for the offensive side of the ball. Uh, I have a marked off. Let's see. Starting at wide receiver is number 12, Kenny. Or I mean, number 11, I'm sorry, Jared Brickner. That's our quarterback. That's our quarterback. And running backs, I, I guess we're going to have to. I, I don't have them marked the right way, so. Oh, that's all right. Our, our, our running backs, uh, excuse me, we're get, you're going to see Richard Trey Singleton out there. You're going to see Michael Blackshear. Deontay Wade Epps, Jared Brickner, Kenny Joel III, Sashawn so McElvey, Dante Gatos, Dre Hall. On the on offensive line and defensive line, Tarek Milner, Christopher Mason, Anthony Brigham, Sal Salmari McCoy, Damian Lee, Connor Pellucci, Thomas Tutwiler, and Jacob Jesserman as your offensive and defensive lines. For the Nishanic football rosters, again, check out Michael Kirkwood's current listings or list your home at castle-realty.com. Starting at your quarterback tonight is going to be Mr. Jo Johnny Huff. Your, your running backs tonight, Matthew Ionelli. Wide receiver, Anthony Bonner. You'll see Don Cubellis out there. You'll see Carter DeVivo out there. You'll see a little bit of Braden Huff out there also. Your offensive line, Austin King, Ryan Huff, Michael Ponciani, Aiden Schaefer, Jackson Mazzocco, no, they're not related, and Tony Parada. We said that was uh, Coach Mazzocco's son at times, like, no, nah, not, not the son. So, anyways, that's your starting on the offensive line. The defensive side of the ball, at nose tackles, Austin King, and along with Monk, Michael Ponciani, the defensive defensive end, Aiden Schaefer, Jackson Mazzocco, and Brett Ensco also. And we're also going to be seeing Andrew Fry out there tonight. Let's talk a little bit real quick as we're, Waiting for the Nishanik uh, team to come out, Jay. A little bit about Andrew Fry. Whereas of right now, he's going to be um, eligible to play the rest of the year, but ineligible for the playoffs. But he's going to be a big impact. Well, Andrew Fry, he he was he wanted to play in a team, and the coach says, no, you can't play. So the team got together, and the senior says, let him play. So they took a vote, and they voted to let him play. So they told the coach, we want him to play. He said, well, you might lose your playing time. They said, we don't care. He is an athlete. We need him. Yeah, and 
Go ahead. And he plays defensive line and offensive line, and I think he's a tight end too. Yes, yeah. Right now he's going to be he's listed as number 84 as far as we can tell. So yeah, Andrew, uh, as long as his talented sister on the Mechanic softball team, Addie, Addie Fry, and also the basketball team. Yes. Also, yes, she she the state championship basketball and softball Mechanic Lancers. Yeah, Coach Mazaka is getting a little bit of pressure right now <laughs> on him right now because uh, yeah, he's seeing all those. Stuff in the, in the gym, you know, he's got state championships, Whitfield championships, and here's Coach Mazzocco. Not Nothing yet, but he's he's doing quite well up here anyways. Let's uh, a little bit more on the defensive side. Lucia DeLillo is going to be a cornerback, a linebacker, Ronnie DeMays. Uh, Jackson Billick is cornerback. Don Cabellis is a linebacker. Braden Huff you'll see out in the uh, cornerback issue. Patrick Argero, Argero excuse me, is a cornerback also. Strong safety is Matthew Ionelli also, but we're waiting for the Beaver Falls and the Shannock. It's, it's, it's a gorgeous Friday night here in the Shannock, Newcastle, Pennsylvania area. Again, looking at the standings along the way here. Be Beaver Falls and, well, Beaver Falls is three and one on the year. They defeated Blackhawk their first game of the year, 22 7. Lost the Beaver, which is a 4A team. They lost to them 1916. That was a big, I thought it was a little bit of upset Beaver been, but they've rolled the last two games. Uh, they beat Knock, which has been struggling last year, last few years. They defeated Knock 44 to six. And Knock, uh, not playing a home game, Jay, uh, this year, because their their I, stadium is ripped up. I believe they're gonna play one home game before they rip it up. I thought I just saw that in the paper. Well, th no, it's ripped up right now. But they said something about they're gonna play one. They I might get it done then, huh? No, they said he's going to play a oh, home okay. game or something. I was reading the paper about well, it. Yeah. But, yeah, the other school, um, Aliquippa not having any home games this year. They Well, yeah. that's annihil they annihilated the pit. Oh. And they're going to have um, the pit um, logo out, out on the field. And they just don't know if the Flaming Arrow is going to come in on the turf yet. They don't know how they're going to get that tradition. So it'd be cool. I'd, I'd like to see that because uh, for those who don't know, I'm, I'm sure they do here in the Newcastle area. But the, the guy out in the on the horse, which I'm su surprised that hasn't got talked about. You know, the guy and the, the Indian coming out in the on the horse with the flaming arrow and stabs it into the middle of the field like they do at Florida State. Yep, that they do. They do that out of Quippa, But but when you're on turf, I you, don't, yeah, it might be tough to do. You might melt that turf. <laughs> yeah. So Beaver Falls, they beat Knock 44-6 uh, and 48 to nothing. And then the other side, and then the Shannon Glancers, and as I said, we, we rolled it. They are 4-0 and on the year. And the Shannon and Beaver Falls at 1-0 and in the section along with Riverside and Freedom. We got to see that Riverside team last week, the Riverside and Freedom, a gutsy performance by the Riverside Panthers. I'll tell you what, they were, they were impressive. I was surprised. I didn't think they was going to do as well as they did. I believe it was a 48 to 28 score, something uh, like that. Uh, 32-28 it was, okay. I think it was, was the final. Yeah, and the Shannock 4-0, 40, they defeated the first game of the year, 45-28, defeated the Sharon Tigers. Uh, then they they defeated Laurel, as we had here, 41-34. What a game that was. Double overtime. Yeah, and then they went down to Ambridge, and then they, they defeated Ambridge 40-34, to and then they got their first section win of the year. They defeated Western Beaver 48-20 to just last week. They will be taking on, if they can get by here, Beaver Falls. They get by Beaver Falls, and I don't, on paper, let's just say on paper, I mean, you're looking at New Brighton, Freedom, and Riverside, and Elwood. You know, these, are, these on paper look like the, the two top teams in, in this section for sure. I think you better put Laurel up there too. Well, Laurel's in single A. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they, they moved down. They're down to single A this year, so don't have to worry about them the rest of the year. So we're, while we're waiting on the teams, let's take another quick break, and uh, we'll, we'll be back with the uh, hopefully the, the f teams coming onto the field. You're watching and listening to high school football here in the Lawrence County Sports Network, powered by LCAP and the Trib Live High School Sports Network. In workers' compensation, my clients are oftentimes not receiving their wage loss. They're not receiving their medical expenses. In LGKG, they come to us so that we can put them in a position to pay their bills. If we're keeping our promises, our clients are getting the justice they deserve. Contractors, the Department of Healthy Homes needs you. From small to large residential projects, you can help families live safer and healthier with the quality work you do. It's rewarding in more ways than one. Call LCAP's Department of Healthy Homes today.
When the high school season heats up, make sure you have the best gear to support your school. Head to the Red Zone on Wilmington Road in the Shannon for all your county sporting apparel needs. From sporting goods to custom apparel to embroidery and more, the Red Zone has it all. Quality gear for all eight schools in the County of Champions. Stop by and enter the Red Zone or visit them online at theredzonesports.com. Score big at the Red Zone. At our Cunningham Funeral Home and Crematory, we are a proud sixth generation family owned and operated funeral home located centrally in the Newcastle and Neshannock communities. Our large facility and experienced staff allows us to accommodate any family with personalized services. To learn more about our services and pre-planning, visit our website at www.cunninghamfh.com or follow us on Facebook. Allow our family to help your family. Yeah, welcome back to the Shannock High School. Lee Moan, Jay Moan bringing you tonight's action here. And I forgot to take a look. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, everybody in the press box, we do not have a Henry sighting here tonight. So that's a good thing. No, and we do, that's becoming tradition here in Lawrence County too, a Henry Frangle who, who umpires a, a lot of games. So we, we always give him a hard time. <laughs> it's the Beaver Falls Tigers will be coming on in the field. A little late here tonight, but that's all right. And the Santa Lancers will get that smoke ready. And I like the tradition they have the youth football players, if you see down to our right, as the camera's going to be showing them here in a second, uh, lining up along that tent. And it's a nice, I, I love the tradition that they have here in the Shannon, with really big entrance here in the Shannon. It's a good entrance. It's, uh, it's unique. Like I said, a lot of teams don't do it that way. A lot of them have the, 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 uh, the, the, the uh, like a flag and then it doesn't hold right. This is a neat tradition. Yeah. I like this a lot. And better. they get the banners and yeah, so they'll they'll hide in that in that little uh, tent too. Everybody gets gathers in there, which is the great thing. They get all forty, and the, the tent moving and everything else, and then they'll get that smoke going and coming out. We'll be doing the Shannon Lancers here tonight. Beaver Falls makes their way onto the field. And the little kids are right behind them. And the best part of this is the Notre Dame fight song, even though it's the Neshannock fight song, but that's another thing. Uh, that's <laughs> your opinion, Lee. I know. I know you're a Notre Dame yeah. fan, and, you know, hey. you're okay. And here comes the Neshannock Lancers out on the field. And there's the fireworks. Big, big game here in Lawrence County here tonight. Shannick in their gray, gray uniforms with the white numbers and the red trim on the helmets. Beaver Falls in her familiar red and white, white uniforms yeah. with red letters. Yeah, orange. I'm gonna go that orange. Okay, we'll go orange. Yeah, it's definitely orange. I'm looking for Peyton Weaver on the sideline right now. Pey Peyton is in the. Here comes Peyton rolling in yep. on the, on the track. So Peyton doing well. Um, still gonna be a little hobbled yet, so let's get tonight's captains out onto the field. For, for Neshanik. Give me a uh, Luciano DeLillo. Johnny Huff. Matthew Ionelli and Austin King for the Beaver Falls Tigers. It's Trey, Trey Singleton. Connor Bellucci, like Thomas Tutwiler, and Jaron Brickner also as your captains for keys to tonight's game, Jay, for the Shannon Lancers. I would say you have to stop the speed of Beaver Falls. Easier said than done. Uh, we'll see how we see what happens. And for the Beaver Falls Tigers, what are their keys here tonight? I say they have to get the running make the running attack of Neshanik be non-existent. And the offensive side, of the ball, or we can do like the normal, uh, and Neshanik will won the toss and they will receive. Or we can give the typical political answer. We have to score more points. <laughs> I love coaches who do that every once in a while. We need to score more points than the other team. Well, in this case, it might be true because they both have a very explosive offense. Yeah, yeah I, I predict a very, offensive game here tonight. We will see 
if that plays out here tonight. But we are finally ready for high school football. Laurel and Union also doing battle on the other side at this down the road. So you don't predict a 10-7 game lead? Uh, no. On, on paper, this looks like a, a 40 to 30 type game. Yeah, both high, I mean, it, we'll see if Beaver Falls can contain Johnny Huff. Nobody has really contained him yet on that, uh, on the, on the, the run pass options. I mean, he's been doing a great job. And he, he throws a very nice pass. And like I said, he, he gets out in the open, he can move too. He had a couple of touchdowns that one night. He's very impressed with his speed. So going back to receive for the Nishanic Lancers, that's uh, Braden Huff on the near side. On the far side, that's uh, DeLillo Luciano. Doing the kicking for the Beaver Falls is Michael Blackshear, and we're underway, and it's a squib kick unintentionally, and it's going to be fielded by Beaver Falls. They're going to get it back. Falling on the ball is Demetrius Taylor. The unintentional, intentional onside kick of the Beaver Falls Tigers. I think he just missed that kick. We know he did. Yeah. <laughs> so Beaver Falls starts off in great position at the 44-yard line, just three seconds in. It's not the way you want to start a game. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was in the hands, it looked like, of uh, Jackson Biondi, but then he just lost it. Yeah, maybe some pre-game, or a little bit that, of jitter oh, that, to that, start the game. That ball did have a little, a lot of spin on it also, so the unintentional, intentional kick, onside kick. The Beaver Falls will start off. Brickner in the shotgun, running back in, in Bricks Rawl. And it's gonna be stopped at the line of scrimmage for no gain is Brickner. That might have been a loss there. Yeah, it looks like it might have been a two yard loss. That's even better. Bring up a second down and 12. Brickner will take off an awful lot. Said 38 carries on the, yard, on, the, on, the year, on the year so far. Looking for the play, plenty of time. As Brickner and Trey Singleton. Trey Singleton, 14th in the country at a wide receiver right now. He's second down 12. Brickner hands off to Singleton. Singleton trying to get, get outside, but a good job knocking him out of bounds on that far side by Nishanik. That was uh, Don Cubellis to hold Singleton just a two yard gain and bring up third down. Third and 10. That's not the way you want to start. Like third and three, third and four is not bad, but third and ten, there's a few plays in that, but you don't want to start that way. Yeah, Trey Singleton, we mentioned there was a flag on the play on the far side also. It looks like it'd be a holding call on Beaver Falls. Oh, I never and saw the flag. And the Shannon will take that. So going to bring up second down. And about 22. Yeah, Trey Singleton also on the basketball team for the Beaver Falls Tigers. We mentioned he was one of the three it's players uh, in that one by 400. So Brickner's going to go underneath center. It's second and 25. They went from the, where the plate was a hold hat was started at. So Bricks Rawl, if they, they hand off to him, and he's going to go nowhere. In the backfield, but then the Shannon Landers, it's Argero. Rawl had nowhere to go. It's another loss. Actually gonna give him no gain for third down. It's a third down and 25. It's a defensive line getting it done so far here early for, for the first two plays, Jay. They've been in the backfield all three plays. So you would think Brickner's gonna go in the air here. And they can go deep. In comes the motion, the double reverse. Breaking into the inside, but not gonna go anywhere. The number 25, that was Deshaun Anderson. Anderson also on the basketball team. Give him three, but that's gonna be it. Actually, if I give him five, it's gonna be bring up fourth down. And Beaver Falls will be forced to punt. So great three and out here, Jay, for the, for the uh, Machinic Lancers. That's that's how, the, after that muff kickoff, that's the way you want to do. Anthony Bonner back deep to receive for the Nishanic Lancers. Can't 
toe. Looks like it's number two, it's, I believe. Yes, it, yeah, that's Bonner. And doing the kicker is Jaron Brickner. And it's a high snap, great one-handed catch there. And Brickner, some, boy, he all oh, just barely got it off. How did and it he takes get, it takes an Ashanic bounce. How did he get that ball up between that guy's hands? Well, he's a quarterback. Oh, wow. <laughs> so Jaron somehow got it off, and the Shannock takes over in great field position at their own 34-yard line. It's going to be first and 10. That definitely took an Ashanic bounce, came up the field instead of going back towards the end zone. Yeah, Jaron's brother Dylan is a playing at YSU. So the Shannock will take over first and 10. Great start here for the Lancers, two and a half minutes in, 9.30 to go here first quarter. No score between the Shanick and Beaver Falls. See what Beaver Falls defense does now. Johnny Huff, your quarterback. Yeah, it looks like Ionelli to his left. Ionelli's gonna get the call. Rumbling first down, Ionelli. 13 yard gain. That's the way you want to start a, 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 the game. So Ionelli gets that call. Good start right up the gut. The offensive line for the, the Lancers getting it done early here. Defensive back had to make the tackle 12, 12 yards down the field. Johnny Huff gets the call. Ionelli moves to his right, trips to his left, one to his right. Man comes in motion. Huff back to Ionelli. Good play there right in the middle of the field. That was number 63 for the Beaver Falls Tigers. That's the Saimori McCoy with the stop. Ionelli with only a one yard game. He met him right in the hole. He didn't have a chance to get started. Brings up second and nine. That's coming into the game is Braden Montgomery. So two wide receivers right and left. Ionelli will go to the right again of Huff. Huff. Back to pass, flushed out, running for his life now is Huff, and then he just turns and fires and gets it out of bounds. Got out of side the tackle box, threw it out of bounds, third down. That's what you have to do. Very smart run, very smart play by him. He knew he wasn't gonna get anywhere running, so he did the best thing he could do was throw it out of bounds. Last year, that's intentional grounding. This year, just a force, incomplete pass. Let's bring up third and nine. As Kubelis comes in motion. Low snap, Huff handles it, being flushed out of the pocket. He's running for his life and then floats it forward and it's gonna be incomplete to Ionelli. Should be an incomplete pass. It looked like a two-handed pass by Johnny Huff and just threw it up in the air. Probably not the wisest decision, but get away with it. It's luckily the Beaver Falls player didn't come up with the ball. So two, well actually, the Shanick did get a first down, but they uh, back, now punting as the Sean Anderson goes back. With great speed as the Sean Anderson. And the Shanick will kick, or will they? They do kick, nice high kick, fair cat at the 18 yard line. So a good 33 yard punt with no return by Luciano DeLillo. So defensive start to this game, Jay. I didn't expect this, did you? You, you heard my final score, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> now we'll see if they get a few offense, good offensive plays going now, Beaver Falls. So Beaver Falls will come up to the line, first and 10. Brickner will be in that shotgun. And the Shannon jump, it did not jump quick enough there as Brickner goes left side, breaks a couple tackles, gets to the 24 yard line, so six yard gain for Brickner, bring up second down. Nice, nice run to start the, start the sequence of plays. Second and four is a lot of things you can do now. 
Especially with the with the athleticism of Brickner. See if Bricks Rawls still back there as your running back. No, they they changed running backs now. It's going to be uh, Dre Hall as your running back for second down and four for the Beaver Falls Tigers. Man comes in motion. They're going to hand it right off to Hall, and he's going to try to spin out of for spin spin away, but runs right into the arms of Ryan Huff. And that's going to go down as a one-yard loss, loss for Dre Hall, bring up third down. Tell you what, he did. He barely got a step, and there was a, Huff was on top of him. They bring up third and five. Here with seven minutes to go here, first quarter, no score. The old, as Randy Gore, the sport, the voice of the North Allegheny Sports Network says they're looking at the wrist coach. Rawl back in. There's a pitch. The man outside, is he gonna hit, get the first down? I think he fell enough for the first down, I believe. Was the running back, Trey Sing or the wide receiver, Trey Singleton. Yeah. They're gonna mark it, looks like maybe a half yard short. No, they're gonna give him the first down. Look a little short. They actually moved the ball back about a half an hour, and I thought maybe that wouldn't get it. Ben. So Singleton gets those five yards and gets the first down. The first first down for the Beaver Falls Tigers. Just underway here, six minutes, 18 seconds left here, first period, no score between the Shannock and Beaver Falls on a gorgeous night in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Brickner gives the pitch, and there's a fumbled ball who comes up with it. Ball still loose. The Shannock saying they have it. And there it is. It looks like number 11, I believe. It looks, looks like Dom Cubelis came up with the ball. And yes. the Shannon gets the first, the first turnover. Medor Bonner Law sponsors those turnovers. Your community firm with a personal co connection and individual service. Thanks to Medor Bonner Law for the turnover. So the Shannon takes over first and ten at the 30-yard line. Didn't see who knocked that out. I couldn't see. There was two or three players on him. So the first turnover of the game for the Nishanik Lancers. Man comes in motion. Inside handoff. That's no, going to fake the. I thought Huff had it. I'm sorry. Ionelli. They gave it. They did give it to Ionelli. No gain. Second down. I thought Huff had it too, Fleet. I'm glad you were full too. <laughs> I mean, it was. I thought he's going for a touchdown, but he didn't have the ball. Well, we've seen him do that a couple times this year already. Oh, yes. Very crafty with that. Uh, let's see if Delolo comes back in motion again here. Three trips. Three receivers to the right. Huff back to pass. A little swing pass. Ionelli, he's got room outside. 30-25 down to the 24-yard line. Good pursuit there by Bricks Rawl. Give him six in the play. Bring up third and four. Just a simple swing pass. Looked like it had more, more open. Looked like it was open a little bit. Could be open more there, Jay. I'll tell you what. Uh, he really closed quick on the ball. Yeah, Bricks Rawl did a nice job. I thought he's going to go for at least 15 yeah, or 20. Bricks Rawl listed a 5'8 and 180, and boy, he's he's solid. And he showed his quickness there too. Yeah, third and four, probably in fourth down territory as, as Delilo comes in motion. Oh, he fumbled and the ball. And Delilo. Ionella felt he lost the, the ball. ball and Beaver Falls is going to recover. Falling on the ball for Beaver Falls. Damian, Damiano Sims. So one turnover apiece. He and went he went to uh, switch hands and he forgot to catch the ball when he put it in his other hand. Medor Bonner Law with a local firm with deep ties in the community. Visit MedorBonnerLaw.com to find out how they can serve you. So two turnovers each, or excuse me, one turnover each for each side. Shaky start for these two teams. Beaver Falls and that will take over. Inside handoff, get about a few yards there is Dre Hall. Down about the 26 yard line, a four yard game for Dre Hall. Bring up second down and about five. Looks like Andrew Fry into the game. 
Yeah, hopefully Andrew's going to get his eligibility taken care of there. He could be a very valuable play person, that team. Hand off inside there, getting the first down is the tie-in Beaufort, Buford, excuse me. Give him about eight in the play. So finally, Beaver Falls getting a little bit of momentum here. The clock down to 354 to go here first period. It's no score between the Shannon and Beaver Falls. Almost a wishbone look, but it's not really a wishbone, but. Trips the, in the backfield. Yeah, no wide receivers. Bricks Rawl met there in the hole by Jackson Billick. Give him a couple yards. So a little bit of everybody carrying the ball here, Jay. Yeah, Bricks uh, seems to be the main, he's the fullback, and like you said, he's a little spark plug. Yeah, you got Wall, you got Singleton. Bring up second and eight, nothing fancy. It's basically smash mouth football right now for the Beaver Falls Tigers. Brickner hands the ball off again, gets, some, gets a little bit of room down the 46 yard line, close to the first down, it will be a first down, that's Damian Beaufort. Give him eight more. So Buford, first down. Nice run. Two eight yard carries for Buford. So Brickner yet to throw a pass here. I'm waiting for some play action. Yeah, you're setting them up now. Well, They're not start, stopping a run right now. No, this is old school football right now. And into the backfield for a loss. Brought down. By the Shannick, I'm going to say that was Ryan Huff in the backfield. I honestly didn't see who it was. Down their loss is Dre Hall. Bring up second and 11. Fast moving first quarter here. At this rate, we may have time to go over Union and catch, catch the second half. Well, when you don't throw the ball, the clock don't stop. Hall again, trying to get the, the left side, but denied there by the Nishanik defense. Looks like that was Braden Huff this time with the stop. Hall, no gain. Bring up third and 11. Halftime, we'll have the Beaver Falls Band and then the Shannick Band and the Trib Live High School Sports Network show. That's Brickner. This might be your first passing play of the game here. Play clock's down to seven. They're going to have to get a Ponce Insurance timeout here. Play clock down to four. Three, two. They get it off. Brickner, quick slant. It's going to be complete. And it could be short of the first down, though. It was complete to Deshaun Anderson. But it's going to be a 10 yard gain and not an 11 yard gain. So let's see what Beaver Falls decides to do here in fourth and short. I don't see no punt team coming on, Lee. The Sean, Anson, the Sean Anderson, part of that basketball team at Beaver Falls. Fourth and one from the Nishanik 45. Brickner getting this, getting the play. Go those three, three running backs in the back. That's, I'm looking for Brickner to keep here. And he's going to hand it off, and they're going to get the first down and more. Still on his feet, but he, that was D Damian or Detalian Buford with the with the play. Give him eight more. He's had three carries of eight, eight, and eight. First down, Beaver Falls, and they do not have to run a play if they if they do not want, and it does not look like like look they would like they will. So that's going to do it for the first quarter. No score between Beaver Falls and the Shannock. You're watching and listening to high school football here in the Trib, Trib Live High School Sports Network in Lawrence County Sportsnet, powered by LCAP. Looking to buy, sell, or rent in Lawrence County? Get realtor Michael Kirkwood Jr. in your starting lineup today. 
Michael Kirkwood Jr. of Castle Realty caters to buyers, sellers, and renters of Lawrence County and the surrounding areas. Call Michael Kirkwood Jr. at 724-301-1482 today. Check out his current listings or list your home at castle-realty.com. People you know, people you trust. And welcome back to Machinic High School, Jay. We, we've had, since Peyton Weaver, if you can see him here on our screen with the wheelchair, everybody in the community is really a great support. And the Laurel cheerleaders tonight are wearing Play for Peyton uh, t-shirts you see up here on our screen as they pose in, in the Laurel gym. There's a great, great thing for the Laurel uh, Spartan cheerleaders to do that as uh, Peyton Weaver having some problems here, but hopefully going to be out of the wheelchair hopefully in a week or two. Yeah, we, we talked to one of the coaches, and they thought he was going to uh, be off on his crutches by now, and they said, no, he's not. Uh, he's still not under the weather, a little under weather still. But thanks to the, the, the Laurel cheerleaders for doing that over. And they're, they, they're over at Union High School tonight, but still wearing the, the Play for Peyton t-shirts tonight. So second down and for Beaver Falls. Actually, it was a first down play, excuse me, and Dre Hall with the carry. About three. She's like, I say, give it to, to Buford. It's got three carries for 24 yards, all with eight, eight yards of carry. Nothing fancy here, Jay. No, just like you said, smash mouth football. We'll Wait. see if he maybe throws a couple more passes. He hasn't attempted one yet. Yeah, he threw the one to the. The one. There's Hall again. Another three yards. To bring up third and about four or five. Third, third and five, short, short five, long four, somewhere in there, four and a half. Doesn't look like Beaver Falls has much of a kicking game based on the kickoff, so I would think it's going to be four down territory again for the Beaver Falls Tigers. I agree with you, Lee. Boy, get the first down off that right side. He'll be a little short. Again, was the tie in Buford, but this time he didn't get eight yards. Only got three yards. Looks like about fourth and two. Definitely four down territory. I think I'd run Bricks Rawl. Well, you got Rawl, Buford, and Hall back there. So they check the wrist coach. Fourth down, I say you said before, play action is, don't think it's coming though. Trying to draw him off sides right now, could not do that. Give it to Hall, is he gonna get there? No, he's not, Braden Huff with the stop. The Shannick with the Medor Bonner turnover, change of downs. So the Shannick will take over from their own 29 yard line. What a call. Penn, Ohio, bottle water for delivery of your three or five gallon water cooler systems or get cases of bottles delivered to your home or work. So our Joseph's Market drive summary, Jay. Got about eight plays there. No. Uh, There's actually 13 plays, Lee. It did not get any, did not get in the end zones and the Shannon will take over with 10.08 to go here first half. No score. A defensive battle so far. Huff, he fakes it this time. 40, 45, 50. Nice break at the 45, 40, 35, 30. Out of bounds at the 25 yard line. 45 yard run, Johnny Huff, first down. Like I said in pregame, when he gets outside, he can move. And the way he handles the ball, too. Oh, jo Johnny's a uh, Peyton's wheeling the wheelchair down. <laughs> yep, I love it. Got to yep. watch the play. The biggest play of the night for either team. 45-yard game for Johnny Huff. First down. Huff fakes a Dianelli. He's going to be gang tackled this time by three Tigers, and Huff gets nowhere. Isaiah Ashbacher on one of them. Second down. Domenio Sims is one of the other ball players on him. Yeah, Ash Barker, part of the uh, basketball team for Beaver Falls. Always a talented basketball team at Beaver Falls. 
As long as I can remember, they've always had good basketball. They've been playing up for a few years, too. They were playing 4A. Second down 10, Huff. Swing pass, complete. They get Luciano, gets about six, uh, give him five yards in the play. Good tackle by Demetrius Taylor. If he wouldn't have got him, I think he would have went. Bring up third and five. Maybe field goal range, maybe not. I would say four down territory. Oh, I agree with you. So Huff gets the call. Ionelli to the left, trips to his left. Huff gives it to Ionelli, bursts through the middle, first down. As Nishanik enters, enters the red zone, Spirit Sills can help raise big money for your organization, fill out a form, and the red zone does the rest. Visit them online at theredzonesports.com and see how your group can score big at the red zone. So Ionelli gets six. First and 10 for the Nishanik Lancers. First good drive of the game. They took over for their own 29 yard line. Huff back to pass, slant pass, over the head. Boy, he had him too. Throw a little bit too high for Braden Huff. Bring up second down. He had a step on a defender, and it, it would have been seven. If he would have just a, maybe a couple, few inches lower. Right yeah. through the top of the hands. Nice route there by Braden Huff. Six foot, 175 pound wide receiver. As Braden Montgomery checks back in for second and 10. No score with eight minutes to go here. First half, 8.06 to be exact. Huff and I and Nelly make sure they're on the same page here. Huff keeps it himself, eludes one man, trying to get outside, gets down to the nine, 10 yard line here. Mark him off at the 10. Gain of about four. Actually, they'll give him five. Boy, his third carry of the night so far here for Johnny Huff. Third down and about five, long six. Got two wide receivers to the right, one to the left. Fries your tight end, keep that in mind. He just came into the game. Luciano in motion, can hand it to Luciano, is stacked at the line, nowhere to go. Good play up front by I think number 63 for the, for the uh, Beaver Falls Tigers. Samari McCoy and Isaiah Oshbacher. Ashbacher. Ashbacher. Osh. Well, they said Osh. One said Ash. One said Osh. <laughs> we had a fight down there, remember? Yeah. <laughs> Not a fight, but they're going to go for it here in fourth down and seven. See if they can draw them off sides. And there's a timeout. Our Ponce's insurance timeout. Yeah, they might have changed their mind. See if they come out with the. With the Field goal team next, but yeah. know, doesn't look like it. You can call Dan Ponchins, Jessica Weiland, or Tracy Giddings to get started the day. You can visit PonceInsurance.com to request a quote for auto, home, business, or life insurance. Ponce Insurance, love the life you live, worry free. The Shannon, they got what, at least about 30 cheerleaders down there on the right hand side. Oh my golly. A lo lot of cheerleaders here. Not take my shoes off the count them all, Lee. <laughs> So it'll be fourth down and seven again at halftime. We will have the Beaver Falls band and then the Shannock band. Looks like the field goals team come on. So like Carter DeVivo. Will be your kicker. Carter looks like it's gonna be about a 28 yard field goal. Uh, that snap didn't get down in time. It was a bad snap, and it's going to be no good. Bonner did everything he could, but a missed field goal with 6.59 to go here in the first half. No score. Yeah, everything was rushed, unfortunately. And they called a timeout to get it set up right, and it still didn't work. It. And the Medor Bonner Law turnover again. So Beaver Falls will take over their own 20 yard line. And they'll stick with this three running back look as Beaver Falls right now. Brickner not throwing the ball at all. Only the other one pass. On those one pass for 10 yards. 
and getting through the hole on the right side and driving about six yard gain as a Buford. Yep. So that's his fifth carry of the night. Italian, excuse me. Yeah, Italian Buford brings up second and four. Yeah, I'm supposed to go to a birthday party tonight. I might make it <laughs> at this rate right now. Shotgun for Brickner. Fakes the handoff, trying to get outside, but then the Shannock defense right there. Leading the charge, it looks like Isaiah Nelly. And Patrick Argoro. It's a third and five. See if they go shotgun in here. Again, you hit Brickner in the shotgun. Man comes in motion, they're gonna hand it off to him. Trying to get that first down, and he'll lunge for that first down, and a nice job getting the first down. That's number two there, that's Trey Singleton. Give him a gain of eight. Big first down for the Beaver Falls Tigers, Jay. They needed that. They have been able to get any, get any third downs, so it's nice to get one. And like you said, you thought they was gonna pass, and they're sticking with the run. They're going shotgun now. I'm looking for play action. And there's your play action. Brickner keeps the ball and go forward for about three. Boy, and the Shannock doing a great job. You, you mentioned one of the keys is handling this Beaver Fall speed, and so far they have. They haven't got outside yet. Shannick always has two or three ball players. Every time they run the ball, there's two or three ball players to tackle them. Bardensko checks back in for the Shannick Lancers. We're down to 448 here. They go in the first half. No score. What a fast moving game, too. But like I said, with no passes, the clock doesn't stop. We we gotta stop saying that because we're jinxing ourselves right now. Yes, we are. And off that's Hall. Gobbled up. <laughs> Nowhere to go. That's Fry. He's making a difference already. That's a one yard less for for Hall. And you can hear the you can hear the crowd when they mention Fry's name too. Welcome to the team. He played a little bit sparingly last week, and he said they're gonna break him in a little bit more as the game week goes on and the season goes on. It's a third down and nine from their own 33 yard line. He is an athlete. Brickner. Fakes the handoff, looks downfield, looking, looking uh -oh. long as a man wide open, and it's gonna be caught. Not gonna catch him. Trey Singleton. That is Trey Singleton. 66 yards. Touchdown, Beaver Falls. Boy, it looked like that ball was gonna be long. And so you see the speed by Singleton? Right in his hands, a perfect pass. Like they were setting him up for the last few plays for that pass, and it was there. So an 80-yard drive for the Beaver Falls Tigers. Six plays. 66-yard pass. And they will go for two. Like you said, I don't think they have too good of a kicking game. Brickner, man comes in motion. They're going to give it to him. Can he get the corner to get in the end zone? And he'll be short. Stopped there was Michael Blackshear. 6 nothing Beaver Falls. 3.41 to go here first half. You're listening and watching the high school football here in the Lawrence County Sports Network and the Trib Live High School Sports Network. We'll be back after a 60-second break. For more than 120 years, people have relied on Martin Dell Hubble's preeminent rating to select their attorneys. If you've been involved in an automobile accident, you should do the same. At LGKG, we have been preeminently rated for over 40 years. I think the key to any attorney-client relationship is trust. 
My father told me a long time ago, the definition of personal integrity, it's really simple. Do what you say you're going to do. At LGKG, we've been doing that for over 80 years. DNR Lawn Care can take care of all of your landscaping and grass cutting needs. They are fully insured, accept just about any payment method, and have nearly 20 years of experience in the lawn maintenance business. Call DNR Lawn Care today to schedule an estimate or send them a message on Facebook. DNR Lawn Care, have your lawn done right. And welcome back to the Shannon High School. Six nothing Beaver Falls. Finally, a touchdown and some scoring here, Jay. But boy, you, you thought, we mentioned again, we thought that it's gonna be like 10 yards too long and Singleton was able to run underneath that. And now to kick off and then this, taking it about the 19 yard line, that's uh, Braden Huff and he's got drilled. By number seven, that was Sean Richardson. Sean Richardson. I so, noticed Beaver Falls didn't have their regular kicker kicking off. I'm not sure what's going on there. Well, if there's anything like the first one, it might be a good decision. Yeah, because uh, an offense and defensive lineman, Connor Hosser, actually kicked off that time. So the Shannock down 6 nothing with 3.34 to go here first half. Again, at, the end, at halftime, we will have both bands. Huff fakes it. Big room, 35, 40, 45, down the 47-yard line, 17-yard gain. Johnny Huff, first down. Tackle by Mr. Singleton again. He's been all over that field tonight, Lee. Four carries so far, and officially 67 yards for Johnny Huff. As Fry's gonna come in as a tight end. I'm waiting for him to use him somewhere along the way as a tight end. He's a big boy, very athletic. Huff. Pitched to Ionelli, balls in the ground. Ionelli able to track it back down, five yard loss. That's all we've seen touching the ball so far tonight is Ionelli and Huff. I'm surprised the other running back hasn't gotten involved yet. And a couple wide receivers, is only five passes so far for Johnny Huff. Second down and 15. Remember this Beaver Falls defense only gave up 32 points all year. And they're rushing Huff again, but he gets out of the pocket, has some room. Trying to get to the outside, 45. Nice open field tackle by uh, Zion McElvey. Zayshawn McElvey, excuse me. Give him about a five yard game for Johnny Huff. Bring up third and 10. Yeah, Zayshawn, only a sophomore, 5'8", 155 pounds. Close that gap quickly. And a false start on Beaver Falls. Some movement up the line. Well, let's take those five yards back. Yeah. So it's gonna be third and 14. Clock down to 207 here in the first half. I couldn't see who really moved in that play no, league. I don't know. Quiet crowd here tonight. Well, there's not much to cheer about right now. Yeah. But on both sides, really. It just, of course, when you're only running the ball three, four yards at a time, a couple of plays here and there. And now the referees are going to tie his shoe. Okay. That was nice of him. Yeah. Let Ryan Huff tie his shoe. So third down and 14 for the Nishanic Lancers. Fake to Ionelli, back to passes. Huff has a man wide open, deep, just over the head. That did Luciano DeLillo just missed him. I thought he had him. Missed him by about a yard, bring up fourth down. The Shanix have to, have to punt. Mm. That was close, Lee. Still gives Beaver Falls some time. They should get the ball back. Some decent field position. And DeLillo, after running that long post pattern, now we'll have to go back to punt. And Anderson goes back to receive for the, for the Tigers. A high snap, DeLillo handles it, just gets it off. And the fair catch taken there by Deshaun Anderson with 1.42 to go here in the first half. Beaver Falls leading 6-0. Nashanik has two timeouts left. Let's see. 
And Beaver falls with all three. Let's see if they play it safe with a 6 nothing lead. And you do get the ball back to start the second half, Jay. I don't think they're going to play it safe. That's why we're up here. Yep, we'll see what they do. <laughs> Brickner will get the sign. Uh, looking for his uh, call over there. Brickner was first team all conference and all state last year at quarterback. And they're gonna have to take their first Ponce's insurance timeout. And watching the high school football here in the Trib Live High School Sports Network and the Lawrence County Sports Network, powered by LCAP. Mailey Chiropractic has treated athletes of all ages to help them get safely back to the top of their game. Mailey Chiropractic has three full-time doctors in their office, and all three are former area athletes who have had to battle injuries throughout their careers. They want to help you get safely back on your feet. But more importantly, help stop the injuries before they happen. Prehab before you rehab. Attention all high school student athletes. During your sports season, a $25 visit to the Mailey Chiropractic office includes an adjustment and or all therapies necessary. From the athletes of tomorrow to the weekend warriors and everything in between. Let Mailey Chiropractic keep you in the game. For more than 120 years, people have relied on Martindale Hubble's preeminent rating to select their attorneys. If you've been involved in an automobile accident, you should do the same. At LGKG, we have been preeminently rated for over 40 years. When you're looking for quality concrete services, contact the experienced professionals at Doran Concrete. Our company is family, locally owned and operated, and has been serving the community for over 30 years. Get residential or commercial concrete services for any size job. Our skilled professionals offer prompt and reliable services at an affordable price. We believe in the principles of honesty, integrity, and reliability. Get in touch with us for exceptional concrete services at prices that you can afford. Joseph's Marketplace is Newcastle's favorite family-owned hometown grocery store and coffee shop. Fresh meats and produce, full-line deli, homemade foods, and much more. Joseph's Marketplace has hot foods prepared every day. They also have Newcastle favorites like grape leaves, hummus, and wedding soup available daily. Follow Joseph's Marketplace on Facebook and Instagram for daily updates or stop in to see what's cooking each day. Come hang out at the brand new cafe and bakery full of great coffee, drinks, sandwiches, snacks, sweets, and free Wi-Fi. In a rush? Go to josephsnc.com and place your cafe order online. Joseph's Marketplace, family owned and operated since 1915. Works in Progress Painting wishes a successful and satisfying season to all Lawrence County sports teams and athletes. Work hard and bring honor to your team and how you play. Joe Wright and his family have been providing painting, window cleaning, and other property services for homeowners and businesses in the Lawrence County area for over 10 years. Their goal on every project is to provide a meaningful service that honors their customer, God, and their family, and to have fun while doing it. Works in Progress is now booking interior painting and related projects for the winter season. Call Joe today, 724-714-4294, to discuss your next project. And welcome back to a gorgeous, I mean absolutely gorgeous, perfect Friday night football here in Western Pennsylvania, Jay. About 50 degrees, a little cool fall in the air. <laughs> it's been a very interesting first half. Yeah, not, not much for the, the Shannon Lancers uh, home faithful here. Um, uh, that's right, we got to keep our ears out for the 50-50 because, you know, one year we just, we might get close. I don't know if it's if we will or not. <laughs> we, we will see. But anyways, 14-0 Beaver Falls leading to the Shannon Lancers here at halftime. The Shannon's gonna, they're gonna take their extra time out in coming out of the locker room as Beaver Falls as they're making making their way back on on the field. But unofficial stats. Uh, Jay, let's see if I can find my glasses here. They're on your head. They're on my head. It's perfect. Unofficial stats for the Nishanic Lancers, Mr. Joey Huff, or Johnny Huff, excuse me. Only three of six in the air for 11 yards. Five carries for 72 yards for Johnny Huff. Seven carries for 14 yards for Mr. Ionelli. That's been about it. Well, they only ran 15 plays if I counted right in the first, first half. 
Yeah, and they, Beaver Falls ran 31 plays. Yeah, and the, shit, the Beaver Falls Tigers leading the way, Jaron Brickner, he's four or five for 135 yards uh, passing and the, that one TD. Rushing, he's six for 30. Mr. Singleton, well, he's there's two ca catches for the 66 and the uh, 47 yarders. So he's got 113 yards in receptions, does uh, Singleton. <laughs> And that, and that one touchdown and the two-point conversion you can throw in there uh, for tra uh, Trey, yeah, Trey Singleton, he is. And a little bit of everybody running the ball for, I mean, we, we've seen Bricks Raw, we've seen, we've seen uh, Dre Hall, uh, we've also seen uh, Tyam Buford, which Buford has five carries for 33 yards. Uh, Singleton also has three three carries for 23 yards throw on those uh, receptions that he has. Uh, we've also seen, yeah, we see Brooks Rawl who's three carries for four yards, but in you know, a little bit of everything. We've seen Beaver Falls go, you know, they, they run that three backfield and then they then they open things up a little bit. So they're, they're mixing things up nicely. Well, like I said, they, they're running the ball, running the ball. And I, we both saw, we said, one of these times is gonna be a play action and Wide receiver was wide open going down the field. Yeah, Singleton with that speed. And they said we we've said it a couple times already that that yeah, yeah quarterback and Jaron Brickner throws a nice ball. We 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 thought we we had a great view up here. It's like boy that ball's gonna be overthrown. And then here there goes Singleton and it's like <laughs> right in his hands, right underneath it, and he, he made a, just a great adjustment to the ball and it just it was perfect. And Singleton once he gets that open field, they're not gonna stop him. So. Unofficially, I said with those two carries for 113 yards, or, or catches for 113 yards. And I, I want to give a shout out to everybody here in the Shannock High School, by the way. Boy, do we have a spread of food today. We, wow. got, we got about 150 pieces of chicken down there. We got six large pizzas. Uh, we have chips, soda, water, and what was that? Pasta, pasta salad? salad. And yes. pasta. They had to ruin it with the pasta. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> with the pasta salad. But, but anyways, I mean, thanks to everybody here at uh, the Shannock High School for just the great, uh, greatly appreciate their hospitality here, um, taking care of everybody here in the press box. And I think everybody in the press box might be getting to-go boxes because we still have got about 100 pieces of chicken <laughs> left over right now. So I don't think I'm eating the rest of the night, Lee. Oh, my gosh, I'm stuffed. Okay, so now we've played a half, Jay. We've, we've gone through a half. And what do you think? What do you think uh, Coach Mazzocco has been telling his team and, and for the Nishanic Lancers? What if you were flying the wall? What do you think? Clean. Now we're on. We're on the radio now and, and on, the t on the internet. So got to keep it clean. What do you think he was telling his team? I think he told the team hold on to the ball and finish your blocks and just continue to keep Beaver Falls from making the big play. But yeah, they, they made two of them in the first half and. The second half might be completely different. Now, what what can we what can they change in the second half offensively? I mean, they're not really other than that one run by uh, uh, Johnny Huff of 45 yards. He had another one of 17. They've really been kept quiet. The, I mean, the defensive line's doing a nice job uh, for this uh, Beaver Falls Tigers. I think a little bit of play action would work in the second half if he tries some because Huff can throw a nice ball too. On the other side of the ball, Beaver Falls they've had some. They've had their struggles too. I mean, the first quarter, we remember we're zero zero. Um, they each team had that turnover in the first in the first half there in the first quarter. But a little bit of Brickner there. Do they continue that play action, or, or what do you think they I might think try to do? Continue doing what they're doing because once they started dominating on the line of scrimmage, their offensive line was dominating the defensive line of Shannick. They started moving the ball. At the at the end of our game, we're going to have our L Cap Player of the Game. And our Mainly Chiropractic play of the game, Mainly Chiropractic, they're currently hiring is Mainly Chiropractic. They're looking for dedicated, energetic, energetic staff to work as therapy technicians, chiropractic assistants, and front desk positions. Anyone age 16 or older can apply. No experience necessary. Just drop off a resume to their office and send it to Mainly Chiropractic at Gmail. Dot com and the LCAP player of the game medical assistance transportation program LCAP can assist with mileage reimbursement for medical appointment or even assistance signing up for the door-to-door -door transportation services provided through acts and also the learning tree child care center quality child care services are available 
throughout the county for children between the ages of six weeks old and five years old. And we remember something for your wall photography. You can check out all the images on something for your wall. Just search for that on Facebook. They got a, um, excuse me, that, yeah, I'm sorry. Just search something for your wall on Facebook as we get ready for our second half. Thanks to all our fine sponsors. LG Gagey also for a pregame show, our starting lineups. Beaver Falls gonna get the ball back here for the second half. And here comes the kick. High, deep, taking it to 12 yard line. Finds a hole up to the 30, 35 yard line, 36 yard line. Be a first down. And the ball was loose. And the Shannon has it. Wow, I didn't even see that ball coming out. Nobody leave? saw it. Turnover. And the Shannon will take the ball to the 37 yard line. Well, we saw that in the opening kickoff, Jay. Yep, it moves the other way around. The Shannon fumbled the ball. So it did not see that ball come out at all, but the Shannon comes up with it. I want to say Anthony Bonner was on the bot. He was on the bottom of that pile. And it was Anthony Bonner with the uh, recovery. So the Shannon with a great start here in the second half. Good field position play, started. Play clock down to five, though. They're going to have to hurry or take a punch insurance timeout. They just do get it off. And they hand the ball off to Ionelli, and they maybe should have took the time out as Ionelli with no gain. Ionelli only 14 yards in that first half. The offensive line didn't look too set in that play. Nobody looked set as they came running out. Bring up second down. Second and 10, big opportunity here for the Lancers. Ionelli, fake. And Huff is annihilated by the bottom of that pile. We've called his number out an awful lot as Cymeri si McCoy, the junior. He's listed at 6'3", 265, and yes, he's on the basketball team also. <laughs> oh, I want to take him in a basketball court. That would be a power forward. Third and 11, Huff back to pass. Got time, going to go deep down the sideline, tipped. Great play there by Trey Singleton to knock it away from Braden Huff. If, Fourth down. If he wouldn't have touched that ball, it would have been six. Boy, Singleton doing on the offensive end and on the defensive end. And I have a feeling the Shannock should go for it in fourth and 11 here. And one-on-one -on -one coverage out there, but Singleton had to play perfectly. Well, he made up a lot of ground there because I thought it was, it was going to be six as soon as it left. Huff threw a beautiful pass there, and I thought it was going to be six. Fourth and 11. Huff being pressured, throw, and it's going to be in and out of the hands of his intended receiver, and that was uh, Luciano DeLillo. Actually, no, it wasn't. That was uh, Carter DeVivo. I thought that ball should have been caught. but So four and out. The Medora Bonner law turnover. Change of possession. So Beaver Falls escapes that. We bring up first and 10 for Beaver Falls with 10.42 to go here first half and they're leading 14 nothing. I expect them to go back into this running game. Well, they in the second, second quarter, they got a lot of yards. Not a lot of big yards, but four or five yards every carry. And here's that running formation. And Look, here comes our, call timeout. our timeout. Our Ponce's Insurance timeout. You can visit ponceinsurance.com to request a quote for auto, home, business, or life insurance. Ponce's Insurance, love the life you live. My name's Lee Moan along with Jay Moan. Well, thank you for watching tonight's action. T next week, stay tuned to Lawrence County Sports and I'm not exactly sure of the games. I think we might be at Laurel next week, one game. Yeah, Dom, Dom's looking back, our producer back here. He's like, eh, yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> He's just thinking food right now because Laura always has the good spread over Laura. I don't know if you can top what we had earlier. I was going to say, they're going to have to do great to top what we had tonight. 
So let's see if Beaver Falls comes out in the field after that points insurance timeout. First and 10, but Beaver Falls leading 14 nothing. Beaver Falls come up to the line with three seconds last time. No time to get the playoff. So they had to call a timeout. And Brickner underneath center. Hands the ball off. Be a short gain. Could be Dre Hall. Another fumble? No. I think he says he's down. Why not? Hey, why not try? Oh, yeah. DeVivo had it and said, it's mine. It's a touchdown. They're going to have to reset the play clock, I think. Actually, they did not. So they just kept it moving. Play clock down to 13. There, they're trying to reset the clock now. Oh, there it is. So Beaver Falls going to get an extra 10 seconds out of this. Bring up second down and eight. Comes the handoff to Singleton. He's going to run out of room. Nowhere for him to run this time. Short game for Singleton. Looks like it's going to be third and about seven. Yeah, still looking for our dorm big block of the night so far. Don't let just anybody lay the foundation for your business. Visit dornconcrete.com for your free estimate today. Thanks to all the fine sponsors here in the Lawrence County Sports Network. Without you, without them, it doesn't happen here in Lawrence County Sports Network. Brickner faked the handoff, rolls out those left throws. Throws a nice ball out there, complete first down. He was wide open. There wasn't a guy within five yards of him. And that's Singleton again with the first down. Gain of about 17 yards. 150 on the night unofficially. First down, Singleton with his fourth catch. Singleton is 67 at 30. For 64, 47, there's 17 right there. It's Beaver Falls, first down and 10 from the Shannock 42 yard line. Brickner fakes the handoff uh -oh. and he's gonna go all the way, 40, oh, and he no. fumbles the ball. Somehow it comes out and the Shannock will recover. Braden Huff came up with the recovery Brickner in disbelief. Give him 22 yards in the carry. I think he was trying to switch arms, which I don't know why, and ball come out. And the, and the golden sin of broadcasting, calling a touchdown before he breaks over the goal line. Yeah. He was all alone into the, and then something knocked the ball out of his hand. I think he, like I said, he was trying to switch from one arm to the other and he forgot to catch it. Maybe the ghost of Mark Shaw got him there. <laughs> First down and 10 for the Shannock at the 12 yard line. Here comes the handoff from the Shannock. Gonna get the first down, a 20 yard gain for Jackson Billick in the, his first carry of the night. See if that can get some life into the Shannock Lancers. Take advantage of the second turnover. We see that in some of the bloopers sometimes in the NFL, you know, with the ball coming out and you know, no one knocking it out. That's what that looked like. Huff looks like a busted play, and he's going to get busted down. And, oh, and there comes the flag. No. By Johnny Huff. Get that 15 yard penalty as Demetrius Taylor, a little extracurricular activity on the far side. Yeah, he probably should have left go as soon as he hit the sidelines and he just kept on going another 10 yards. There's a four yard loss for Johnny Huff. But tack on 15 and that should be a first down. <laughs> they say rough in the passer. He wasn't passing, but that's another point. So <laughs> that's actually going to be short of the first down, so it's going to be 
First down and two. On the play, it's a big break for the Shannon Glancers. I didn't understand that at all. It's a first down and 10 from the 40. Billick gets the handoff and he's hitting the backfield. No way he's getting anywhere. Great play on the defensive end by Isaiah, Isaiah Ashbacher. So Billick loses four. Billick couldn't get started. Ashbacher was right on him as soon as he got the handoff. Ashbacher at 6'3", 205 also on the basketball team. Boy, the Shannock, they've scored 40 points each of their first four games. Quick slant, complete the DeLillo. Short gain of about five. Fourth completion in the night for Johnny e. Huff. Brings up third and about 10. Uh, third and about eight from the 42 yard line. A little bit of hurry up now. And they need something. The Speaver Paul Stevens, again, remember, they've only given up 32 points in four games, and 19 was the one team. Third and eight, Huff. Got time, got time, looking deep down the middle. Oh, over the Singleton oh. almost intercepts it. Through the double coverage. Where did he come from, Singleton? <laughs> he looked like he was completely out of the play, and he just missed intercepting that ball. Yeah, they're looking down the, down the middle of the field, unlike the Steelers. Incomplete fourth down. I had to say it once tonight. I knew you did. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're right, Lee. So DeLillo, after running that deep slant again, will go back to punt. Good thing he's in good shape. Anderson, deep to receive for the Beaver Falls Tigers for the 42-yard line. Just does get it away. Anderson will let the ball bounce. And for some reason, Demetrius Taylor falls on it. He thought maybe it hit a Beaver Falls Tiger, which it did not. Fortunate the Tigers take over. With 7.34 to go here, third quarter. Interesting. So Medora Bonner Law change of possession. So Beaver Falls will take over first and 10 from their own 33-yard line, leading 14 to nothing with 7.34 to go here, third quarter. This is definitely not the type of game we expected, Lee. No. So Frickner fakes the handoff, trying to get in the middle, does not do that. Argero with the defensive play. Brings up second and about eight. Yeah, the size of the middle of that line for Beaver Falls, led, led by Connor Pellucci, six foot, 300 pound senior, getting some D3 looks. He's having himself a nice ball game in the middle of the ball field. Is Pellucci. He's the center on offense, and the nose tackle on defense. Now, one back look. Hands the ball off. That's Bricks Rawl. Bricks is going to get about five yards of the play. His first touch in quite a while. Yeah. He had the first three carries, three out of the first four carries, and then been quiet. Gets five yards this time. Bring up about third and about five. Boy, Nashanik needs a stop. Had their chance with the opening kickoff being fumbled. They went four and out. Then they had your chance when they uh, covered a fumble and the guy was going in for a touchdown. Now it's a two Wait. back look. And he's going to hand the ball off to Singleton. Singleton gets out of bounds around that first down marker. It's going to be, depends where it's marked here. I think he's going to be shortly. He by about a yard. Yep. If that. Yeah, yep, yeah, about a, just a little over a yard, fourth down. 
Beer Falls with a 14-0 lead. And he said, first down. What? They, it was marked a yard short over there. Now they it, and they can't, they can't, they move the chains. They have no idea. They called for the measurement, but they moved the chains. Wow. I haven't, I don't think I've ever seen that. The ball was marked a foot, a yard short of the sticks. And then the referee pointed first down, they moved the chains, then they called for a measurement. Boy, there's a bad, bad break for the Nishanik Lancers. <laughs> to Beaver Falls, first and 10 wow. at the 43 yard, <laughs> 43 yard line. Hope that'll go back to Harlem. And Beaver Falls gonna run down this play clock as they have the 14 nothing lead with five and a half to go here in third period. Smart play right now. Here comes Singleton, he's through the hole, gains about five, give him six. Did not hear that 50-50, so. Maybe the end of third. Yeah. Boy, Singleton's a nice looking ball player. 5'11", 170 pound senior. Well, we know he can catch a ball, that's he's for sure. And we know he can run. <laughs> yes. And we know he plays basketball also. I'm looking forward to seeing him in the basketball season. I'm always looking forward to Beaver Falls play basketball. Bricks Raw with a hard run. Still going forward. Give he him about a yard. Yeah, if that late. Beaver Falls is always a joy to watch play basketball. A lot of jeeters at that. Beaver Falls. Third down and about, they're gonna call a three. It's a long three. Clock down to 4-11. You don't see a lot of teams do this. I mean, they're, they're running this play clock down, which is very good to see with, if you're a Beaver Falls fan with a 14 point lead. Singleton gets through the hole, gets to the 45, down to the 40. Ball comes loose. Are they going to say fumble or are they going to say down? They're going to say it's down. So first down. I think it's the proper call. I agree with you, Lee. Looks like from up here, the ground causes the fumble, but another first down for the Beaver Falls Tigers. Singleton unofficially. 44 yards on six carries, plus his touchdown and the receptions that he has. It's, it's ridiculous right now what he's doing on the ball field tonight. He's doing anything he wants. Now here comes the inside handoffs. Beaver Falls is doing anything they want. That was Mr. Buford. Yeah, the run. I haven't heard from Buford for a while. Give him three. Yeah, the offensive line for, for Beaver Falls has just been just absolutely dynamite here tonight. Damiano Sims only listed a 5'8", 175 pounds here on that offensive line. <laughs> and he's moving some people too. I think he's strong and has good leverage. He's Another still. two yard game for Trey Hall. Yeah, this is just, as we said earlier, smash fouls football. Also in that offense, offensive line. And we got Pellucci up there. Also Saimari McCoy, who we called a lot in that defensive line tonight. Also Demetrius Taylor is your tight end along with the Isaiah Ashblocker. Third down and five for the Beaver Falls Tigers. They're under center this time. And they're gonna get the first down and then some. Hanging on the ball, running for, holding on for dear life as 
is Buford, but they get the first down. And there's his eight. Oh, they're gonna only mark it six yards. But still, another first down. Clock goes down to 145 to go, and Beaver Falls is just eating clock. And running the clock. Running the ball. And the Shannick has no answers right now. Not time for a pass here. Why? Well, I agree, but just break it up. Buford with a one yard gain. You have a 14 nothing lead. There's hardly any crowd, even though it's a packed house here in the Shannick. A quiet crowd, you got a minute left in the third quarter and a 14 nothing lead. And you're imposing your will right now and then the Shannock Lancers. Bureau Falls beating the Shannock the last two years they played. This should possibly be the last play of the third quarter. There's your play action, wide open. Touchdown, Demetrius Taylor, 29 yards, 20 to nothing. I think I called that, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> you can see he was setting it up. And you were right, Lee, wide open. Second touchdown pass for Brickner. Uh, actually, it's going to get called back, though. We have a penalty in the play. A holding call from the 34-yard line. So that's going to negate that. Did not see the flag. I didn't either. I don't think anybody did. And we called a touchdown again. <laughs> well, that, that happens every once in a while because of the flag in the play. Play action worked, but somebody got caught on the line with their hand in the cookie jar. So the ball goes back to the 44-yard line, be second and 25. There's not too many t second and 25 plays in the book. Yeah, but when you have Trey Singleton on your side, you don't need <laughs> to give the ball to him. And they fake it to him this time, and Brickner Runs over one man, two man, gets down the 34 and a 10 yard gain, and that's gonna do it. Should do it for the third quarter. The clock goes down to 15 seconds. Now we'll do it for the third quarter with the score of the Shannock trailing Beaver Falls, 14 nothing. You're listening and watching the high school football here on the Lawrence County Sports Network, powered by El Cap and the Trib Live High School Sports Network. Looking for a unique way to expand your business? Advertise on the Lawrence County Sportsnet and be seen by thousands of viewers in the area and around the country on over 100 broadcasts each year. Visit lcsportsnet.com and click Advertise with LCSN. Works in Progress Painting wishes a successful and satisfying season to all Lawrence County sports teams and athletes. Work hard and bring honor to your team and how you play. Joe Wright and his family have been providing painting, window cleaning, and other property services for homeowners and businesses in the Lawrence County area for over 10 years. Their goal on every project is to provide a meaningful service that honors their customer, God, and their family, and to have fun while doing it. Works in Progress is now booking interior painting and related projects for the winter season. Call Joe today, 724-714-4294, to discuss your next project. Yeah, welcome back to the Shannock. We want to thank Dorn Construction for being one of our great sponsors. With over 30 years of experience, Dorn Concrete has a team of con contractors you want laying down the blocks for your home or office or job. 14 nothing Beaver Falls. Beaver Falls has been laying down that foundation all game, Jay. I'll tell you what, they've just been blocking and blocking and blocking, and they can't, the Shannock just can't stop them. And yeah, the offensive line, we mentioned the names earlier. Along that offensive line, also give, give credit to uh, Mr. Damian Lee, six foot, 290 pound junior also. Third and 15 for the 34 for the Beaver Falls Tigers. 
Man comes in motion, fakes there, slant over the middle, it's complete. Taylor close to the first down and they rolled a fumble, picked up by Nishanik, picked up by Billick. And the referees are gonna talk about it here too. They said no, it looks like we're confused there. Referees are confused whether it's a first down or it's a fumble. Fumble or the Shannock ball? They're going to say it's the Shannock, the Shannock ball. So another turnover for the Beaver Falls Tigers. That's three in the second half. <clears throat> so they gate the 50, or actually it's a 50. Bring it back to the 40 yard line. So the Shannock, another turnover, three here in the game. Beaver Falls just keeps giving them back the ball. One of these times, the Shannock's going to have to score, though. And it's only 14 0. 11.49 to go here in the fourth quarter. So the Shannock, another break. And a man jump from the Shannock. They'll cost them five. Tony Parada, the six foot two. 6'2", 225 pound lineman, jumped five yards. So instead of first and 10, be first and 15. It did not see the fumble at the end of that play either. No. It was a nice throw by Brickner, good catch there by Taylor. It was really close to the first down. I think he had the first down. But the Medor Bonner, the Medor Bonner Law turnover. Check out Medor Law. MedorBonnerLaw.com. Say that three times fast, huh? You go ahead and try, Lee. I'm on. I just did. I a little short gain. Deshaun Anderson with the tackle. Boy, they've really kept by Nilly. Really quiet here tonight. He's averaging what was it? Six yards a carry? Yes, yeah, he's only he's only averaging two right now. Seven carries for 15 yards, unofficially. Second down and 14. Fake to Ionelli. Pass complete. It's a short gain to Dom Cabellus. Isaiah Oshbacher with the tackle. Bring up third down. Yeah, Cabellus played the Pony League World Series last year. Part of that Mechanic baseball team. Third down and nine. Mechanics had problems converting on third down here tonight. Huff being pressured, gets away from one man, trying to scramble, finds a man open, gets the first down, I believe, to Anthony Bonner just over the 50-yard line to the 46-yard line. So Huff creating something out of nothing. 13-yard gain, first down the Shannon. He was pretty close to getting past the line of scrimmage there, but he knew what he was doing. I thought he was going to get caught in the backfield. Nice play by Huff to get away from people. He rolls out his right quarterback uh, run here. Get down to the 39 yard line. Give him about seven, but we have a flag. I think there's going to be a hold, it looked like. Referees will talk about it. Seven yard run for Johnny Huff. Referee comes out to make the call, and there's your hold. We'll give him about a five yard gain. Remember, at the end of this game, we will have our Mailey Chiropractic play of the game and our LCAP player of the game. We try to stick with Lawrence County, but we might have to go player of the game another way to a Beaver County guy if this score holds up, score, score holds up right now. Huff, back to back, swing pass. Ionelli's gonna get drilled. No, nice. Nowhere for him to go. Open, good open field tackle by Trey Hall. And Shaw, Deshaun McElvey, too, he, he hit him first. This Beaver Falls defense is quick. <laughs> Shannock's done a nice job offensively, I mean, defensively hold the Beaver Falls Tigers for the most part, having problems solving the this defense for the Beaver Falls Tigers. Second down and 22. Huff back to pass. He's got one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, but there's perfect position 
by Sejan McElvey to knock that away. Third down. Beautiful defense by McElvey. One-on-one -on -one coverage, but they're not afraid. Well, when you have Singleton on one side, you got McElvey in the other. He just said, go ahead, put your best man out there. We can cover him. Well, he went step for step and just stuck his hand up and knocked the ball out of the way. And also Jaron Brickner out there. He's on the outside also. Third down and 22. Huff steps up in the pocket, has nowhere to go, and he's going to be brought down at the 42-yard line. Won't be a sack. It'll be yeah, Damiano Sims. Bring up fourth down. A little bit of John going back and forth, but nothing, nothing's going to happen out of it. And Nishanik's going to have to punt again. Looks like Beaver falls. Of course, got a lot of, a lot of time left, though, 9.20 to go. They just can't put this Nishanik team away. Turning the ball over, keeping Nishanik in this game. Well, three turnovers in this half alone. So the Lolo will go back, go back to pick. Punt, gets it away. Takes a good Deshanik roll. And Beaver Falls will just step out of bounds into Sean Anderson. And Beaver Falls will take over first down and 10 from their own 25 yard, 22 yard line with a 14 to nothing lead. Coming after the game, I said we'll have our mainly chiropractic play of the game and our L cap, or excuse me, our melee chiropractic play, play of the game and our L cap player of the game later on. I want to thank the red zone also. Not a lot of teams in the red zone tonight. But check them out on Wilmington Road. You want your favorite high school team apparel? They have it all down there at the red zone. Greatly appreciate their sponsorship here on the Lawrence County Sports Network powered by LCAP. Brickner with our Ponce's insurance timeout. We'll do the same. We'll take a 30 second timeout. You're listening and watching the high school football here on the Lawrence County Sports Network powered by LCAP and the Trip Live High School Sports Network. Shannock High School with that standout platform you just saw the commercial for. Our play of the game might get on that standout platform so you can check that out. Right now, our man Trey Singleton having himself a field day here. <laughs> a great night for the Beaver Falls Tigers. First down and 10 for Beaver Falls from their own 22 yard line. Brickner hands it off to Singleton right on cue. Gets the corner, 22, 25, down the 30, 32 yard line. Very close to that first, first down is Trey Singleton. Will they give it to him? Depends on the mark. Looks like they're gonna mark him down to 31, so they're gonna give him nine on the play. Yard short, you'll see what happens this play. Beaver Falls is definitely taking her time. Unofficially 53 yards rushing for Singleton on seven carries. A very, very good defensive play that we saw a couple times. Two touch or one touchdown of 60, 64 yards. Second down and one. Brickner fakes the handoff. Gains the seam, gets the first down to the 36 yard line. Give them five stop clock stops, 7.59 to go. More of the same, Jay. <laughs> yep, just load up and run the ball. I thought Mr. Brickner would throw the ball more, but he doesn't have to, like you said. You Unoff have that running attack, you just go with it. Unofficially, 10 carries for 65 yards for Brickner. 
So Brickner getting some MAC looks. First team all conference last year and all state. Brother plays at YSU. He's gonna keep the ball again. Run over a couple people, still on his feet down to the 43 yard line. Jerem Brickner, 23 yards. What a run. He carried three guys probably 10 yards down the field. Jaron Brickner listed at 180 pounds at 6'2". Boy, running hard. That was probably one of his best runs of the night. Might not have been his longest, but it was probably the, the best he had. Uh, that was his longest. He had a 22-yarder, and now this 23-yarder. Okay. And the play clock has stopped working. Clock is still running, though. There's the play clock. And advantage Beaver Falls because the play clock started late, so they're going to stand there for 20 seconds with a 14 0 lead. And this is what you do. And now a flag. Now they're going to say delay a game. <laughs> but you can't call it delay a game. <laughs> it's a little confusion by the. The back judge has it has the clock on his on his you know on his clock there, so he didn't see the play, he doesn't watch the play clock. He has the play clock on his wrist, so he throws the flag, thinking it's a delay a game. But the the head ref didn't reset the clock in time, so they should reset the clock here for 25 seconds and no penalty. The look at the clock, there it is. Now it runs. But the play clock should be running. It, the play clock's running, but the clock the, is the, not running. Yeah, the, the clock should be running. But anyway, 6.39 to go. And now we're going to get... Oh, boy. Now, I believe the referee... Yeah, the referee's coming over to say, the clock's not running. <laughs> Let me... In the, in, the, uh, in the memory of Mark Shoss... <laughs> don't get the don't get the time right here in a minute. <laughs> oh, how many times Mark Shaw said that on the air? <laughs> and Mark was an official. Yes. And they said he was a good official too. Uh, the thing is, is uh, they, he gave his he gave his warnings to the coaches as they came out. Now they're going to go over and talk to the uh, coach, coach Mazzocco, try to explain how much time might be on the clock. But then they're going to have to go over and talk to Mr. Nardone and explain the same thing to him. With six, approximately 639. We think they're 639. 639, dude. So after the game, I said we'll have our mainly chiropractic play of the game, our all-cap player of the game. Next week, stay tuned to Lawrence County Sports Network. We'll have the games listed. I'm sure Mr. Uh, Dawson will have the t on his Twitter, on the Twitter feed, and Lawrence County Sports Net on the Twitter feed, what games we will be broadcasting next week. I think Laurel might be one of them. Coach Mazzocco, not happy at all. Well, they lost 10 or 15 seconds. The clock was running, but the play clock wasn't running. Then they changed the play clock to 40. It's been interesting here. I say they should just keep the clock stopped, let it run a play. That's uh, just my opinion, just to, run, to fix everything. But let's see what they do. And they're not going to explain anything to Coach Nardone. Well, he really don't care because it's his advantage. <laughs> now, now, actually... Coach Nardone wants an explanation. And the referee explains to Jaron Brickner what's going on. Okay, I think we got everything done. And the clock will start with a play clock at 25 running. And now you have 6.56. Oh, so they added 15 seconds. Yes, that's what I was saying. Okay. Well, that was because of the, well, anyways. Yes. First and 10, that's the, that's the main thing we need to know. 
Now there's 6.40 left. Triple fake there. They give it to Singleton. Gets to the 35. Down to the 30, 29-yard line. 14-yard gain, first down. That just rested up the legs of Trey Singleton there. And we have a man down. And that's a Lancer. I don't see the number as of now, Lee. Twenty. Yeah. Twenty-eight. Yeah, that's uh, that's the big man. That's Carter C Cadence, five ten, two hundred eighty-five pound freshman. So while they attend to him, let's take a let's take a one minute break, Dom. Fourteen nothing Beaver Falls, six and a half to go here, fourth quarter. You're listening and watching the high school football here in the Trib Live High School Sports Network and the Lawrence County Sports Network, powered by El Cap. Wherever you're going, Axe can get you there. The bowling alley, beauty salon, and even the library. Axe can get you there safely. The grocery store, the pharmacy, and the bank. Axe can get you there comfortably. Going to work, visiting a friend, or just to relax at the park, Axe can get you there affordably. Axe is here to get you there safely, comfortably, and affordably. Choose Axe as your driving service and give us a call to schedule a ride. And yeah, welcome back. I want to thank Penn Ohio. You can call Penn Ohio Bottle Water for your home or business bottle. Bottled water delivery ranging from 16.9 ounce bottles of water to five gallon. Let us do the lifting and bring refreshing water to your door. I also want to thank uh, to the Crane Room for out of town scoreboard, which we don't have the scores tonight, unfortunately, but you can check those out out of uh, the Crane Room. Get some of that Q sauce at the Crane Room. 724-656-1553 for the Crane Room. First down and 10 from the 30 yard line. A Singleton takes the handoff. Cuts it back inside and give him another five yards. Another jet sweep. Unlike the Pittsburgh Steelers, this gains five. That's a couple more of them little digs on the Steelers lead, but they, they have it coming. <laughs> That's why I didn't waste my uh, that's why I got my beauty sleep last night. I figured I'm not watching. I think you need a little more beauty sleep, please. Well, thank you. <laughs> I don't need it. <laughs> no comment. I know. Second down and five for Beaver Falls, leading 14 nothing. They just continue to churn this clock. Man comes in motion. Brickner fakes that, cuts left, goes down the side. We have a flag in the play as Brickner goes in for the touchdown, but a flag at the five-yard line. So hold up on that. I would say another hold. Referee comes out. This is a nice throw by the ref. Holding on the Shanick, so that's going to count as a touchdown. Wow. It's a 25-yard run for Jaron Brickner. He went in untouched. Makes it 20 to nothing. With 5-11 to go. Wait a minute. It should be a touchdown. They, they pointed towards the Shanick. But then they gave... Pointed towards uh, okay, they pointed towards the Shannock, but it's, it's, it went on Beaver Falls. It's okay. 15 yards, though. I have no idea what they're talking about. I don't know if they do either, Lee. For those of you who are complaining about the officials, go to PIAA.org, click on how to become official, take your test, and see how you can do, Jay. And Lee, first down and 10 at the 30-yard line. But there's no explanation of what happened. Uh, they threw the flag at the five. 
pointed towards the Shanick was a hold on the Shanick. I'm guessing it was a personal foul on Beaver Falls to make it second 10 at the 30, because they marked 15 yards off in the 15 yard line. Let's see Singleton what he can do here. 30, 25, 20, out of bounds at the 15, 14 yard line. No flags? Uh, not yet. Okay. Yeah, I apologize for the confusion. We're just calling what, I mean, with the referees, what they're pointing. Now it's first down. That was a beautiful block by number 75, Thomas Tutwiller. He got out in front of him and he just opened it up for him. <laughs> So first down and 10 inside the red zone for Beaver Falls. Handoff, touchdown, and no flags. Deshaun Anderson, are we sure? I don't see. Uh, yep, they put the touchdown sign up. No flags that time. This is the fourth time I'm going to write a touchdown for Beaver Falls, and this one's going to count. Deshaun Anderson, a 15-yard run. You called it right this time, Lee. Jeez. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 20 to nothing. Time for a Cunningham Funeral Home extra point. I believe it was five plays in about four minutes of time off the clock. <laughs> so they'll go for two. In comes some motion. They're going to give it to him. And he's going to be short of, they're going to give it to him. Just did get in. Michael Blackshear was able to get that ball over the end zone before he got pu pushed out. 22 nothing Beaver Falls, 4.57 to go. You're listening and watching the high school football here in the Lawrence County Sports Network, powered by El Cap and the Trib Live High School Sports Network. In need of a lawyer, contact Medor Bonner Law, a boutique firm offering tailored legal services and over 120 years legal experience. County residents with strong family ties to the community, Jason Medor and Michael Bonner established Medor Bonner Law to provide clients with legal expertise and personal attention. Guided by their professional staff, you can feel confident your rights will be protected. Call attorneys Jason Medor or Michael Bonner or visit MedorBonnerLaw.com for more information. Looking for a unique way to expand your business? Advertise on the Lawrence County Sportsnet and be seen by thousands of viewers in the area and around the country on over 100 broadcasts each year. Visit lcsportsnet.com and click Advertise with LCSN. I never heard it. And yeah, welcome back to the Shannon High School, 22 nothing. And Shannon's going to have to do something quick because they're running out of time. Damiano Sims out of bounds. kicks it out of bounds, and the Shannon will get the ball at the 40-yard line. So they'll take over, and they have no done nothing offensively here tonight. Except Mr. Huff had a couple nice runs. And a nice pass or two, but this second half, nothing. Yeah, jo Johnny Huff does not have a yard rushing today, tonight. I mean, except in the second half, only rushed four times for zero yards. And Beaver Falls turned the ball over three times and given the Shannon a lot of time to get something, and they're just not doing anything. They've had their chances. So the Shannon down three scores. Huff over the middle. A little bit too far for DeLillo. I think DeLillo was open, but Paul was just a little bit too far in front of him. 7 of 15 unofficially for Johnny Huff for 36 yards. It's not going to get it done. No. It looks like he's going to have to throw the ball now to try to get back in this game. Still got all your timeouts. Huff will tuck it and run. Get out of bounds after a five-yard gain, oh, and there's a flag. Another, 
And that, that was uncalled that for. Might be, that might be an ejection out of that one. Yeah, Bricks Rawl. Not a good, not a good look there. And Beaver, Beaver Falls celebrating a little bit on the field. That's going to be 15 yards on Beaver Falls. Took him out of bounds right over to bleak bench section. You can call ahead and reserve your seat after the game or place an order for takeout outside outside pickup, dinner, homemade desserts, even a craw crawler to go. Crawler, excuse me. Crawler, I got it right. I don't I don't drink, so I don't know. You should start. <laughs> <laughs> no part. 45 yard line. Huff being pressured. Throws over the middle. DeLillo in and out of the hands. Good play by the defense. By number 25, Deshaun Anderson. Yeah, Anderson had a nice, he's had a nice game. Of course, this whole defensive backfield, this whole defense has been everywhere. Shannon said they averaged, they got over 40 points each game. Being pressured, throw. The, the uh, Ionelli, a little bit too far for him. As Damiano, Damiano Sims broke through and Huff had to run for his life. Threw that ball a little bit too quick. Yeah. He had to. <laughs> he had to either throw the ball or get sacked. He didn't have a chance to set his feet or anything, just toss it and hope. I'm trying to think if Shanick has been in the red zone tonight. They were when they missed the field goal, I believe. Oh, yeah, that's right. They missed that 28-yarder earlier, way back earlier. Ah, there's a flag there. I'll oh. start by the Shanick. Yeah, they missed the 28-yard field goal early. That's about it. I thought that was getting them a chance to get going, and after that, they haven't done hardly anything. Yeah, this defense has been outstanding for Beaver Falls. Down to 4.31 to go, third, fourth quarter. Third down and 15. Two, two receivers each side. Huff gives it to the first man through, and he's going to get the first down. Billiken Moore, 20, down to the 18 yard line. Jackson Billick, the senior. Caught everybody by surprise there. That has to be the longest run of the night for them. 32 yards. So Billick gets the first down for the Shannick. Huff, looking, looking, still looking, throws, Delola catches it as the inbounds, and out of bounds. Only need one foot in bounds, but could not get that in. He's being chased there by Dre All. It's a good try by Delillo, but couldn't get them feet even a foot, one foot down. I tell you, Peyton Weaver does it. That's good with that wheelchair, doesn't he? Yes, he does. He's, down, he's, really <laughs> he's been going up and down. He wants to be out there so bad. Oh, without a doubt. And Huff going to be drugged down, sacking Isaiah Ashbacher. Brought him down by the arm. Bring up third down and about 14. Then he helped him up, which was nice. Huff's been running for his life just about all night. Oh, Nowhere to go, the big man. For Beaver Falls, Damian Lee, six foot two ninety junior. I nearly had no chance. Or that was actually that was Billick with no chance. Three yard loss, fourth down and thirteen. So about fourth down and fifteen from the twenty-two. He got the handoff and he was in oh. his face. Huff being pressured again, throws for the end zone. That's going to be intercepted. Singleton intercepts it. 
and smartly kneeled. And the Medor Bonner Law turnover. Oh, there's a flag lay. So some taunting going on on one of the sides here. DoorBonnerLaw.com, your community firm with a personal connection, individual service. I also thank the Cunningham Funeral Funeral Home to learn more about their services and pre-planning. Visit their website, www.cunninghamfh.com, or follow them on Facebook. Gonna be a 15-yarder or half the distance, one of the two. It's gonna go from the 20. He'll take it down to the 10-yard line. Thank Joseph's Marketplace also for, for this drive summary. Joseph's Marketplace, they've been family owned and operated since 1915. Yeah, we tried to get him on the air at the golf outing. He said, no, 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 just talk. <laughs> so Mr. Presnar didn't want to talk. But he's got a great bakery there. So it's gonna be first down and 10 for the 10 yard line with 2.58 to go here. We'll have our cameraman, uh, Mr. Rob Natal, run down some shirts at the end of the game. The handoff gets about five yards. Unfortunately, it looks like our player of the game and play of the game is gonna go towards our Beaver County friends. You have to, Lee. Yeah. Mr. Natal's already picked them, he just which, is, which way is it going to go for the player in the playoff? Second down and five as the clock continues to run. Shannon's going to have their first defeat of the year as we have our Ponce's Insurance timeout. You can call agent Dan Ponce's, Jessica Weiland, or Tracy Giddings to get started today. Ponce's Insurance. Love the life you live, worry free. Also, thank Doran Concrete. When it comes to your residential or commercial concrete service, you need a team you can rely on. Call Doran Construction for your free estimate today. 2.26 to go. Again, next week. We will be somewhere. Check off the Lawrence County Sports Network website or the, or the Twitter feed. The Shannock will be home against New Brighton. And Beaver Falls will be home against Riverside next week. So we might be back here next week. If Mr. Dawson will pick that game out. Beaver Falls, second and five. Inside handoff and trying to break it outside now and we'll get that first down. I think we have a new runner in the game there. New number, yeah, actually it was Bricks Raw. And I think the Shank's gonna call a timeout, another Ponce Insurance timeout. That'll be their second of the half. They should be down to one as they trail 22 to nothing. So the first half is uh, taking on, the second half is uh, taking a while. Well, you have how many penalties in the second half? I didn't keep track, but there's quite a few. And how many non-penalties? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and how many stoppage of clocks and whatever else, so. Yeah, unfortunately in the Shanick uh, faithful, not having a lot to cheer for about the home team tonight. This uh, offensive line for and defensive line for Fever Falls. It's just been dynamite here tonight. So first down at 10. Jaron Brickner. Underneath center. That's Rawl through the middle. 50, 45, 40. Cuts to the left, down to the 25. Down to the 19 yard line, Bricks Rawl. 46 yards, first down, Beaver Falls. 
I thought he was gonna go, but he got caught from behind. I think he ran out of speed there. Beaver Falls gonna have close to 300 yards rushing here tonight. Over 200, that's for sure. How many is that for Raw now, Lee? Uh, not a lot, actually. Unofficially, uh, 9, 10, 15, about 60 yards. Oh. Yeah, he hasn't had a lot. He, so Shannock, I don't think we'll be calling any more timeouts here. Is they're gonna throw the white flag in, I think. Beer Falls will run some plays here. Back to Rawl. Boys, running hard, down to the six yard line. Bricks Rawl, first down, goal, into the red zone. It's like a rugby match there. Thanks to the red zone for sponsoring tonight's broadcast and every broadcast. Again, Bricks Rawl listed at 58180. As Braden Huff's gonna come a little bit off. The clock goes down to 112. So about two more plays. I think Beaver Falls is I'm gonna guess and just kneel on the ball right now. Maybe the uh, sportsmanlike thing to do. There's the one kneel. And let that clock go down under 40 and they'll kneel it again and Yeah, they might have to, I don't know. They, they, they got to snap one more. Yeah. Now they'll snap. Shirts on the table. Down to 25. And there's the last kneel. That's good sportsmanship there. And Beaver Falls will celebrate final score. Beaver Falls 22, Mechanic nothing. We'll be back with our post game show and we'll hand out our awards. You're listening and watching the high school football here on the Lawrence County Sports Network, powered by LCAP and the Trib Live High School Sports Network. For 20 years, Mele Chiropractic has treated athletes of all ages to help them get safely back to the top of their game. Mele Chiropractic has three full-time doctors in their office, and all three are former area athletes who have had to battle injuries throughout their careers. They want to help you get safely back on your feet. But more importantly, help stop the injuries before they happen. Prehab before you rehab. Attention all high school student athletes. During your sports season, a $25 visit to the Mele Chiropractic office includes an adjustment and or all therapies necessary. From the athletes of tomorrow, to the weekend warriors and everything in between. Let Mailey Chiropractic keep you in the game. Whether you're hosting a big party, it's family dinner night, or you just need a place to go and watch the big game, the Crane Room Grill is the place to be. Need that something special for your upcoming event? Ask about the CR Brewing Company's custom brewing options to give your big day that personalized touch that your guests will never forget. Visit craneroom.com to see their full menu or call in your takeout order now at 724-656-1553. The Crane Room Grill and CR Brewing Company, a winning combination. And welcome back to Shannon High School. One last time, final score, Beaver Falls. Defeats the Mechanic Lancers 22 0. And sometimes you hear 22 0, it's not really a 22 0 whitewash. This was a 22 0 whitewash, Jay. That was one of the most impressive defense performances I've seen in a long time. Yeah, they, they held Johnny Huff uh, to uh, 50 yards rushing or unofficially, actually, unofficially, 72 yards rushing, nine carries and seven of 19 through the air for 36 yards. I think he got most of the rushing yards in the first half. Uh, yeah, he had 72 yards in the first half. He was held, he did not have a rushing yard in the second half. Unofficially through the air, Jaron Brickner, six for seven, 167 yards passing, 10 for 92 on the ground um, for uh, Jaron Brickner. Mr. Singleton had uh, four catches. He had one of 64 six yard touchdown pass he had a 47 yard reception a 17 yard reception plus he had the four five six seven eight ten carries 
28, 30, 40, 53, 67, 86 yards, 10 carries for Trey Singleton. Also, our Joseph's, sum, our Joseph's Marketplace drive summary a, at 341 of the first quarter, or excuse me, the second quarter, Beaver Falls with a 66 yard, six play drive. Trace, or Mr. Singleton, the, the pass from Brickner, making it 6 0, then with just 47 seconds left in the first half. A 15 yard run by Jaron Brickner. The two point completion complete, 14 0, and a 15 yard run by Deshaun Singleton to make it 20 to nothing to end the, uh, the game. The two point conversion was missed. So that's your Joseph's, Joseph's Marketplace scoring summary. Time for our Mailey Chiropractic play of the game. Jay, we have to go with Mr. Jer uh, Mr. Uh, Jaron Brickner with that 66 yard uh, pass. Talk a little bit about that completion or I'll Mailey Chiropractic play of the game. That pass was impressive. He, he, he threw it probably 40 yards in the air, and we think there's no way he's going to hit that receiver in stride. I thought, and Lee thought, it was going to be over his head, and it was perfect pass. So Bailey, Chiro Bailey Chiropractic is proud to present the Play of the Game Award to Jaron Brickner of the Beaver Falls Tigers. Bailey Chiropractic, the Lawrence County Sports Center, proud to honor Jaron for tonight's Play of the Game. He will receive a customized T-shirt courtesy of the Red Zone in recognition of tonight's Play of the Game. Video tonight's play of the game may also be featured in the Trib Live High School Sports Network. Stand that platform on Twitter and Instagram to view tonight's Bailey Chiropractic play of the game and full list of this season's top plays. Go online to lcsportsnet.com. Click on play of the game. Congratulations, congratulations to Jaron Brickner of the Beaver Falls Tigers for tonight's Bailey Chiropractic play of the game. Let Bailey Chiropractic keep you in the game. Our El Cap player of the game, Jay. Goes to another Beaver Falls Tigers, Mr. Trey Singleton. I said we had four catches for over 100 yards, 10 carries for 83 yards. Talk a little bit about the performance of Trey Singleton. No matter what he wanted to do, he did it well. He caught the ball, he, and in rushing, he ripped off t two or three 10, 12 yard runs. They just couldn't stop him. Lawrence County Community Action Partnership, proud to present the player of the game to Trey Singleton of the Beaver Falls Tigers, El Cap and the Lawrence County Sportsnet. Proud to honor Trey for tonight's player of the game. He received a customized t-shirt courtesy of the Red Zone in recognition of being named tonight's player of the game. To view the full list of this year's players of the game, go online, on, online to lcsportsnet.com. Click on player of the game. Congratulations to Trey Singleton for being named tonight's El Cap player of the game. El Cap, they're changing lives. Final thoughts, Mr. J. Moon, before we sign off here from the Shannon Lancers. Even though Beaver Falls had three turnovers in the second half, they just couldn't do no wrong. They just kept running the ball, running the ball, and occasionally they just do the old play action and get touchdowns. Talk a little bit about that offensive and defensive line. I, I haven't seen that much in a long time. That much, they just could they couldn't. They controlled both sides lines of scrimmage. Sometimes you might control the offense, but not. They controlled the offense and the defensive line. Well, as, you can, as you can see in this on the on your screen, final score. The guest has 22, which is Beaver Falls. The zero, unfortunately, in the Shanick Lancers. The Beaver Falls goes to four and one. The Shanick falls to four and one. Beaver Falls takes control of first place in the conference. For my partner Jay Moon, for everybody here at the Shanick. Thanks for joining us here on the Lawrence County Sports Network powered by Elkhoff. 22-0, Beaver Falls defeats the Shannock. And as always, you've been watching tonight's broadcast on the Lawrence County Sports Network powered by Elkhoff and the Trib Live High School Sports Network. Have a great night, everybody. This is the Lawrence County Sports Network powered by Elkhoff.